How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be going over how to use the Vault API. I've already created a project here. I don't know why I named it Vault API. I'm kind of stupid for it. Don't name yours Vault API. But the first thing you're going to have to do is you're obviously going to have to download Vault and an economy plugin. What I use is I use, I just use this same economy core. Any, really any economy plugin that's up to date will work. Uh, you should probably stay away from older versions. I tried using one called like Craft Economy and iEconomy um, and they didn't work and I actually ended up crashing. Uh, well, giving me null pointers when I tried to do certain commands. So this is actually my second run at this video. I could not figure out why for the life of me that my commands and stuff weren't working the first time it was because I didn't have a working economy plugin also all the code will be available to you guys on github so go over there and check it out but the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're just gonna go ahead and say public static economy economy and now I'm doing public static because I'm actually going to be well I'm going to be creating a separate class for my commands I'm not gonna do it right on here on this main class here so we're going to make that public static instead of private static, which it is, uh, well, actually says to make it public static down here. But then after we do that, just go ahead and grab this code right here, copy and paste it. Well, first let's do our public void on enable, we'll do that. And then let's go ahead and paste this and let's get all our imports here. Okay, and the next thing we gotta do is just go ahead and say if not set up economy, so basically if it equals false, we are actually just going to go ahead and shut down the server because we don't want the server to run if we don't have the economy plugin. So I don't know why I just clicked build there. Then the next thing we're going to do is here is we're just going to go ahead and say economy commands. And this is going to implement not comment command executor. Go ahead and import all those methods there. Uh, let's clean up our imports there. Let's change this to sender. Let's change this to args. Let's go ahead and say return true. And now we're going to go ahead and say if sender instance of player. We're going to go ahead and cast player, player to player sender. And then we're going to go ahead and say if command dot get name dot equals ignore case ego. We're going to do this. And then we're going to go ahead and say if args dot length equals three, because we're going to be doing a give command here. Um, because that's what we want it to be. Well, actually, let's go ahead and say, before we say that, let's go ahead and say if args zero dot equals ignore case deposit. This sh that should work. I should let us do that since it's only one argument. So then we're going to say if args dot length equals three, we are going to go ahead and say well, we need to go ahead and we're going to do it so it doesn't sit, deposit it right into the player that's sending the command. It's going to send it to the person that they want to send it to. So they could send it to themselves if they just do deposit their name. So we're actually going to go ahead and say cast. We're going to say target or player target is actually going to be a bucket dot get player. And this is actually going to be args one this is going to be the player. And now I'm just gonna surround this in a try catch statement here, because um, we are going to be parsing an integer. Um, and that's just the easiest way to make sure that that parse is actually an integer. Uh, obviously, uh, any other way would just go ahead and return. Um, we just return a null pointer. Um, but I like just putting in a try catch. Because then you could put this, you could change this catch, except you could change the catch to actually just be a message instead of the whole, you know, print stack trace. Um, I would obviously keep it as print stack trace until you are aware of 
what is happening inside of your try and then um, you know go from there then we're gonna go ahead and just say actually we'll do it as a integer yeah int deposit amount equals integer dot parse int and this is going to be args2 so now we can go ahead and say vault main dot economy dot deposit player target deposit amount now this might not work because we might have to technically create an account for them but we're gonna go ahead and see if we can do that without it well we, we can actually just go ahead and well let's just do this first let's do per private economy economy equals vault main dot economy so that way we don't have to do this really long bit here so let's go ahead and say if economy dot has account it will go player we do this else and we don't actually want it to be player we want it to be target it will say target it will say player because we want the player to know this player dot send message chat color dot red that player does not have an account set up but before we do that actually let's just go ahead and do this first to see if we can do it without that um, just to make sure here and then let's just go ahead and say this dot get command dot eco dot set executor and this is going to be new economy commands and let's go ahead and export this and let's see what we come up with well uh, before we do that uh, let's go ahead and obviously send the player a message uh, player to send message and we'll just do chat color dot gray you have deposited and I'm going to do the lazy way here we want the dollar sign deposit amount gray into and then plus target dot get name plus and we'll do this seven accounts so we want to change this to uh, just that and a there and let's go ahead and reload so our economy plugin is working it has found an economy plugin nope oh, not that server wrong one this one so let's just go ahead and do eco deposit malik db6 100 and you can see that you have deposited a hundred dollars into malik db6 account and let's just shift this over and obviously you can see there we didn't need to we didn't need that account check you could do that account check if you want to have players have an account uh, obviously I don't want to right now and you can see there we have deposited now we can make a secondary command here uh, so if we go ahead and and we just actually wanna just return true at the end of this that way it doesn't go any further than that once it's done so then we can say if it equals balance and we're just actually going to snag like all of this right here because we're gonna need most of that although our arguments are only going to be two. Oh no it's still be no it's just two just two because we don't need to parse the integer so this is just going to be economy dot well let's just do int balance equals economy dot get balance and this is going to be target and obviously this needs to be int because it returns back as a double um, generally it's much easier to just do you know straight values and not you know cents on servers um, you know just just makes it a lot cleaner looking so so let's just go ahead and say 
Uh, I'm going to be lazy here and say target I get name has balance. I don't know if it returns dollar signs, so we're just going to go ahead and put a dollar sign in there. And A. And green. And seven. And seven. In their account. So now if we change this to. Did I, it was already set as balance, wasn't it? Yeah, balance. So let's go ahead and re export this. Should work, hopefully. So now we can go ahead and say balance Malik Busick. And we have $900 in our account. And that was obviously from doing all these deposits here. If we do some more deposits and we go ahead and say balance, we have $1,400 in our Malik Busick has $1,400 in their account. And so that is how you guys can set up. Uh, basically sort of the basics of vault here you can obviously create bank accounts that people that players can deposit money into the possibilities are pretty much endless uh, maybe I'll make a video on how to make your own economy plugin so you don't have to use other people's economy plugins but that's all I got for you guys today if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a comment drop a like also be sure to join our discord here uh, pretty awesome stuff going on and what you can do uh, in our Discord, you can go right here to the Suggestions tab, or channel, as soon as it loads. Well, anyways, what you can do is you can go into our Suggestions channel there, and you can actually go ahead and suggest YouTube tutorials. So, that's all I got for you guys. See you guys next time.